Initially, this was the only product that I was planning on buying. However, everything spiraled out of control because I have no idea how to handle my money. I wanted a dedicated camera for this 2023 so it would encourage me to touch grass and hang out with my friends because I am a degenerate who plays video games all day. So when I saw this Kodak Printomatic on Shopee, I was like, sold. It's so cute. It looks like a toy. You'll see, you'll see where this goes by the end of the video. In hindsight, it wasn't the best decision to make because it was one, imported, so there weren't any service centers here in the Philippines that I was aware of. And number two, it wouldn't have been easy for me to get the refilm. The refilm? The refills. I had initially thought that if there was no film but you had an SD card, it would work as a regular digicam. I thought it would be a best of both world scenario. Unfortunately, no. It still went through the motions of trying to print. It's pretty loud when it does it, so not ideal. When me and my friends went to take pictures, there would be lines in the printing. Both me and the seller did try to troubleshoot, but unfortunately, it just wouldn't work properly. So I returned it and got a refund. Now by this point, chronologically, I had already purchased a few digital cameras circa late 2000s from Canon and Fujifilm. I'll be doing a video on those soon, but when I saw this, it just stole my heart. As per my research, there's a bunch of kitty zoom cameras from VTech. However, I'm pretty sure this is the 2012 Kitty Zoom Twist. I think it's so, so cute. And because it's a kid's toy, it's something I don't have to be very careful with and I can throw around. The twisting camera boasts a whopping 2 megapixels. To power this up, you're going to need 4 AA batteries. I personally prefer this over something rechargeable because I already forget to charge like my necessities, like my phone and my power bank and stuff. What more my camera? When you first boot up the camera and ask you to input the date and time, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's a way for you to add these timestamps onto your photos. If you have this model, please let me know if I'm wrong because I would love to have that feature. I think it's just really charming to see on the photo itself. This model does take SD card. I'm just using one for my regular Digicam, which is two gigabytes. There is onboard storage. However, my unit currently has photos of the previous owner's family. I've just been too lazy to delete them because you have to do it one by one. But you know, I probably should because that's the start to every horror movie. Anyway, wow, look at these fun filters. Aren't they a great segue? Besides the camera feature, there are a few more modes to this device. There's a video recorder mode that gives you a PowerPoint presentation. A voice recorder, which I have not bothered to try at all. The settings, which are a little lackluster but expected for a kid's toy. In this mode, you can add frames and stickers onto previously taken images. It does not override the original, it instead makes a new copy. This is the game section, and while I haven't explored all of them, I really really love this particular game. It is an augmented reality FPS game. Look at it, tell me I'm wrong. Last but not least, here are some sample photos that I was able to get. These are all raw outputs in decent lighting condition. That's all from me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. Bye bye!